Hello everyone, happy Friday. Woo um, this is for Friday the 18th of August, but you know it is a timeless reading. And this is Madam Butterfly Tarot, and my name is Diane. You're very welcome here. So pile number one is the uh, pink tourmaline. Nope. Pink rhodochrosite. <laughs> um, pile number two is the amethyst, and pile number three is the highlight. So I will just give you a second to choose your pile. Okay, so move these guys out of the way. Okay, pile number one in the pink rhodochrosite. So you guys have, oh, number 18, the tree, let them go. You know, that's really interesting because uh, I don't know if you saw the pick a card that I did yesterday. Pile number one had a similar message. Okay, uh, so you have let them go. Oh my god, look at that. You're flying free. I unfurl my wings and fly. And you have rising above. I see only beauty and grace. You know, um, I, okay. You know, this could be, this could be about anything. Okay, but... For some of you, it's definitely about love because the pink rhodochrosite, I keep wanting to say tourmaline, uh, the pink rhodochrosite is actually associated with manifesting a new love. So pile number one, that's super far away, isn't it? You guys didn't get a lot of cards, so I guess, you know, the message is kind of clear. Sorry, I can't really make it better than that. The tripod's a little crappy. That's as good as I can get it. Um, because I, f I feel, I don't know what I was saying there, sorry, but I feel like there's a new love waiting to come in for, for, for those of you that that would apply to, okay? I, I feel like it's someone very uh, strong, like very stable, very grounded, like this person is gonna be a rock for you. They're very protective, they will be very protective. Some of you may already know this person, even though it's a newer energy. Um, it's actually an energy of someone, they could be an earth sign, they're very grounded, very stable, very kind, uh, very loving. They could, they could have water, they could have earth and water, very kind. You know, I just, uh, I have another deck of cards, like, in at the other end of the table. And it just happens to be sitting at Virgo. <laughs> uh, there's a card in there that has Virgo and it, they drew my attention to it. So this person could be a Virgo. Or they could have that somewhere in their chart with water. Okay. But they've been, I feel like you have to let someone go to get the new person. Okay. And if this message, if you find this very triggering, then maybe this isn't the reading for you. Okay. Um, I feel like you'll know if this is the message for you, okay? Because you'd be like, yeah, I feel it. Like, I feel like this is something I have to do because there's, you know, like I said, for some of you, this is not about love. Like this will be about a career or a job or a friend or a place that you live or something um, that you're, you're having to let go of. But for a lot of you, I feel like this is an old love or the memories of a past love or something, but you're letting the, you're letting them go so this new person can come in. And Spirit is just saying, I think this is a confirmation, to be honest, for those of you that may have made that decision recently to let someone from your past go so you can embrace new love. This is almost like a yes from spirit, like you're doing the right thing, like this is what we want for you, this new person is the right person for you. And you may be a little sad about um, letting this past person go or like letting whatever this is go, but I feel like you know you have to because it's almost, you know, the, the other, this past person could be like a fire sign or they could have that in their chart or maybe they're just a little like unpredictable. I feel like they're self-destructive. I feel like this person, if it is a person, they have a tendency 
they, they, they to like self destruct or they get in their own way, like they're toxic to themselves. And I feel like you've just realized like you can't be a part of that anymore and they're not going to change. So you're sad, but you're like, I know I have to. So I feel like maybe some of you wanted to save them. Maybe you felt guilty about leaving them because you felt like you wanted to save them. You might actually be realizing that now because you know the pink uh, rhodochrosite, any pink crystal is associated with the high heart chakra. Um, which if you, they often tell you if you struggle with like self love or people pleasing to invest in a pink crystal and the reason for that is because it balances the high heart chakra, which when it's very open, you know, it can mean that you're like super compassionate and super loving. It's usually like an empath thing. And it kind of makes you want to save people like to the point where you're willing to give up everything that you are and everything that you have in order to help this person, right? And you may even have had a habit of doing that during your lifetime. And you may have recently realized about this, that about this person that you're like, I actually, it's not my responsibility to save you. Because I think pile one, you tried. Like you tried with this person or this job or the situation, you did try, but it's, it's just not working. Because if it's a person, I feel like it's like self-destruct. They're very self-destructive and I feel like they're just maybe a little too chaotic, you know? <sighs> there was a lot that came through. Uh, so I think it's just a message from spirit for some of you, like confirmation, like, yeah, you're doing the right thing. Like, please don't be sad because you have something so much, I don't want to say better, but like better, something that is so, so much more suited to you, like a person or whatever this, you know, Whatever you're leaving behind, there's something so much better waiting for you. And if it's a person that you're leaving behind, you know, like if it's love, there's a new love waiting to come in. And I feel like they, they're going to love you so much. Um, and you tr that's what I, I want to say to you. Like, you don't have to feel guilty because you tried. Okay, you tried to help this person, but... They didn't want your help, okay? They have to work it out for themselves, all right? And also you have the number 18 adds up to a nine. So I feel like you're coming to the, you know, you're like at the end of a cycle with that person from your past. Because it's like, um, it's like you're freeing yourself. You know, it, I mean, she's flying quite fast there. And here it's like she's exploded. You know what I mean? She's like burst out of that, um, lotus flower and I feel like you're actually it might like it might be sad to let this person go because you're I don't know maybe you're sad for them or you're sad it didn't work out or something it's something like that but actually you're going to be very happy okay and there's something about like the situation was very restrictive for you for some reason because I feel like in leaving this situation or person behind, it's like you're choosing yourself. So maybe that's the connection. It's like, um, I don't know. For some reason, whatever this situation was, was really blocking you from, um, I don't know, from all the stuff that you're supposed to do is kind of what's coming through. Like there's so, I feel like it was blocking your confidence for some reason. There's lots of pink. I feel like there's a lot of kind of healing of the higher heart chakra here maybe for some of you, you know, like uh, self-esteem, like self-worth, choosing yourself over other people, like not over other people, but you know, over someone that has taken a lot from you and is maybe not able to give it back to you. I just feel, you're just gonna be very free. 
and happy and excited now that you've left this situation or person behind. And that, it sounds quite harsh, but that's what's coming through. So you're definitely, uh, you made the right decision here, pile number one, okay? I just wanna see if there's anything else. It just feels like a relief. I kind of feel like for a lot of you, it might have been guilt that was making you stay. And it's like you've just freed yourself from it and I feel like it's gonna really help your self-esteem and your confidence. This new person, like for those of you that, you know, this new love thing is resonating with you, there's someone new coming in that's gonna be so healing for you. Um, because they are so loving. They're very soft. It's it's a really lovely combination. Like they're very grounded and stable and they're gonna be a rock for you, but they're also um like in touch with their emotions and they're like a soft energy. And they're gonna be very healing for you because they have so much love to give and they, they're gonna think the world of you. They really will. But that's what I feel like you weren't getting from this past person. You weren't getting like any love back. And when you, when this new person comes in, it, you're just gonna feel so loved. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's, that's your message, pile number one. So that is your message. I'm going to leave that there. <laughs> um, so I hope that was a useful message, pile number one. Uh, thank you so much for watching. God, I really, like, I don't, I almost don't want to leave. I almost don't want the crystal to move out of the shot because there's so much lovely energy coming off that crystal. Like this new person, they are lovely. It could very well be someone with Virgo in their chart because they're very giving. Virgos are always like really giving. Oh, they're just lovely. So that was your message pile one. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And as always, I wish you many blessings, love and light. Pile number two, you are the amethyst. So you have, oops, sorry, I zoomed out. I zoomed in for pile one. Um, okay, so you have number 23, confidence. It comes with time and practice. That card came out yesterday too. So there's going to be some kind of breakthrough in your confidence. Also, this could be something to do with speaking because you have the Ace of Swords there, okay? Um, and you have number 20, uh, the lighthouse don't doubt your worth and she's hanging up a little sign that says I am always enough so this is definitely something for you pile number two about not doubting your worth right so there's obviously I feel like you're it's a new venture that you're setting out on or something because she's on a train or a bus but you're scared because you you don't feel confident enough or you're worried that you're not good at it or maybe it is to do with speaking and you're like, oh, don't like speaking, <laughs> don't like talking to people, don't like running a, a group or being seen or having my voice heard. Maybe it's like public speaking or it's like verging on that. But whatever this is, you, you're gonna be absolutely fine, okay? Spirit is saying, don't doubt your worth. Go for what you, go, go for this because it's something, I feel like it's going to make you really happy because you have the sun here behind her head, so it's going to make you happy. Okay, let's see what other cards you've got. Um, oh, look at that. Taking action. I enthusiastically embrace life's boundless possibilities. So there's something that you're, yeah you're moving towards some kind of new project or a new situation being in the flow i'm in the flow of the universe look at that both water cards so it's like in this card you know he's taken that leap of faith into the unknown and there you are because obviously this guy's you the weird little stick man is you <clears throat> excuse me oh look throat chakra <clears throat> okay so this could be something to do with speaking and finding your voice. Um, and also, you know, the throat chakra, it doesn't, 
like, hold on, I'm coming back to these, but it doesn't have to be necessarily like speaking. It can be, you know, um, like the throat chakra is to do with like the expression of the self, who you are, your ideas, right? So that can be like writing, it can be writing um, a movie, it can be a song, it can be poems, it can be public speaking, it can be singing, it can be writing, I don't know if I said that, it can be painting, drawing, anything like that that expresses who you are, okay? Especially because this is water energy here, so, you know, water, creativity. But it's like you're taking this leap of faith into the water here and that's where the universe wants you to be. You see, she's on a certain certain path and it's so much blue. It looks like a throat chakra, communication, arty, maybe, kind of thing. I mean, if you want to, you can look up, um, I don't know, like occupations associated with the throat chakra or something like that. But you know, think, think self-expression, creativity, art, writing, counselling, um, things like this. But there, yeah, there's this path that Spirit is trying to put you on and it's like um, once you take that first step, because the first step's scary. You know, at first it's going to be scary. It always is, right? Doing something new is scary. But, you know, if you didn't do the things that made you scared, like, you would never do anything, right? I mean, obviously, you know, don't be, like, jumping into, like, pens with tigers and stuff. That's probably not going to end well for you, right? Um, but yeah, this is definitely something that you're meant... I feel like you're meant to do it. It's like this specific path. God damn it. There we go. That, like the you know the universe is laid out for you and what I want to say see the moon whenever you have the moon like that in tarot um sorry I was I was noticing the planet here I just I wonder if that I don't know anything I know a little bit about astrology but I don't know if that has a specific relevance um but the moon you know in in the tarot for for one thing <laughs> um it you know it's like an uncertain path right the moon represents your intuition so i feel like you're being intuitively guided towards this new thing could even be fame because you have the star there right and you have the light so it could be like being in the spotlight fame or something like that for you um, but you're not entirely, like, I feel like this, you're being guided by your intuition. It's like, I feel strongly that I'm being called to do this. I feel like I've been given signs that I should be doing this. But you're not entirely sure <laughs> where it's going to end up. Because that's kind of the, the feeling that you get with this girl. Like, she's just, I don't know. I don't know, maybe she's not used to, like, getting on buses or trains and going somewhere. Or she's going, she's certainly going somewhere new and she's like, oh my god. Is this going to work out for me? And even the little sword is pointing to this. Um, hold on a second. Yeah, I feel like there's some speech that comes or it's, it's like something's going to start flowing. You know, it wouldn't hurt you if you're not already doing it to listen to some throat chakra frequencies or work with your throat chakra or like carry some throat chakra crystals around or something like that. Pile two, okay? Just to enhance what's, you know, to make it easier to come out, whatever this, because there's something in you that wants to come out, like some kind of creativity, but I think you're kind of scared to express it. Um, also, I would work on your solar plexus. Those two things might really help you with this, okay? So think frequencies, you know, if you don't have a lot of time in your day, um, think crystals, okay, affirmations, that type of thing. If you want to know more about that stuff, I have tons of that stuff over on my other channel, How to Train Your Caterpillar. I'm obsessed with the chakras. You should go check it out. Descri uh, the link's in the description box. But there's some kind of, like, throat chakra creative flow that like once you get past this fear of being seen, fear of being heard, it's just gonna flow. Like, 
beautifully and it do you know why it's flowing it's almost like it's from spirit it's like a download or something like whatever this is it's almost like you're channeling information or something from spirit okay and you know what else it's actually something's gonna once you get past this block of this this fear of being seen or fear fear of being heard or like you know, what if I make this, you know, I don't know, book or like I, I make this video and like, oh my God, what if people don't like it or they think I'm a freak or they're like, what's, you know, you think you're a good writer or you think you're a good singer, you suck. <laughs> Once you get past that, it's actually going to move very fast. I think you're actually going to become successful quite fast, okay? <coughs> <coughs> there's my throat gone again. Um, There's more cards here. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, ooh, look. Yeah, see this is something that's going to set your heart on fire because, okay, hold on. Let me put that down for a minute. So This is something that makes you really happy. It's something, it could be singing for some of you, okay. My soul sings with joy. The sacral chakra and the throat chakra are two of the seats of like the soul, right? Like the expressions of the soul. So when you create art or you write a book or you sing or whatever it is, it's coming from you. It's an expression of you, you know? Um, so it's like your soul has been waiting to give the world this information. I, it's something that makes you like look at that that heart is on fire it's literally something that sets your heart on fire like I it it's like very inspiring for you whatever this is there's just a little bit of nervousness a little bit of lack of confidence like maybe feeling like you're not enough that's a sacral chakra issue okay so for you guys if you were interested sacral chakra, solar plexus, but particularly your throat and your solar plexus, okay? There's something as well about like, you're gonna see where you're going because you see how you have the moon here? And then this card, you have the moon and then you have the sun. So it's like, you follow your intuition to this divinely guided path and it leads you to your bliss. It leads you to, the, you know, the sun is like abundance and happiness. For some of you, I mean, it's, you know, she's playing an instrument, could be like music. See, there's something here about like, you're starting this and you're not sure how it's gonna go, but very soon you will see because you have this intuitive knowing that you feel like it's for you, but you're not sure. But that's just self-doubt. That's you like doubting yourself. That's like a lack of confidence. But I think once you, you know, remove that block and that's just gonna come, you know, like the card says, it's gonna, it's gonna come with time and practice, okay? So you don't need to force it, but you know, definitely like affirmations, chakra work, crystals, you know, do what you can to help this along, but don't get frustrated with yourself because there will be a time, I feel like it's not that far away, there will be a time when like the block, you, you like unblock yourself and it all starts moving very fast and you're just gonna be really happy. Like this thing that you're doing is what you're meant, it's like what you're moving towards is what you're meant to be doing and it's like, you're gonna know if this is you, like if this is, you know, the thing, what am I trying to say? This thing, whatever this is, it, it makes you really happy and it's it, it like, sorry, my camera cut out. It, set your, it sets your soul on fire. So if there's something like that, that you're currently taking action towards, but you're unsure, you know, you're like, this makes me really happy, but I don't know if I'm good enough to do it. It's definitely meant for you, okay? <laughs> so yeah, leap of faith, pile two, okay? a long message but it needed to come out so that was uh your message pile two thank you so much for watching 
and as always i wish you many blessings love and light and also just before i go that the amethyst um is a crown chakra crystal uh you know the crown chakra is associated with your angels and downloads of information from the universe so it's you can listen to a crown chakra frequency and you might actually get some downloads like um you know if you want more information if you're not sure that this path is for you even after this reading you can ask your angels and your guides you know and it would really help to meditate like before you sit down to meditate even for five minutes right just ask them be like look i need a sign is this what i'm supposed to be doing start sending me signs um and put a crown chakra frequency on in the background okay because that will help you channel messages from the universe and get downloads okay but you might already be getting a lot of downloads so you might in order to hear them you know meditation is the key because it's difficult for you to get downloads through a busy stressed out mind you know so that was your message pile three um a pile two I hope it was useful. Uh, pile number three, you guys have the highlight. So you have, you only got one of these. You have, why doesn't she want to focus? <laughs> what are you doing, card? There we go. Okay, so you have uh, number four, mirror. Treat your body like the palace it is. I feel like you need to rest more pile three because um you know the number four is like the four of swords in the tarot which is a card of like needing rest okay and also the card it really didn't want to come into focus at first so if you're finding it hard to focus at the moment or something like that it might be because you need more rest Um, and something for you to focus on at the moment, regardless of what else is happening in your life, is like, you know, start treating your body well, you know, start looking after your body, like sleeping and eating properly and, you know, grooming, you know, all that kind of stuff, like feminine energy, even if you're a dude, okay? <laughs> um, so that's your first message. Um, you also have <clears throat> cultivating prosperity. Ooh. The abundance of the universe is pouring into my life. <clears throat> oh my god, I was just about to say, why is my throat going again? <clears throat> you have, uh, oh my god, hold on. <clears throat> I feel like this happens in every reading. You have communicating freely. I communicate from the depths of my being. All right, I there's more cards here, but there's something that you're going to be doing or something you're already doing. The, the cultivating prosperity card always makes me think of the seven of pentacles, right? Which maybe means that something has been going slow. Something that you've been trying to do. You've put a lot of work into it. You, may, you Maybe you're wanting it to go faster because you're wanting to see the results, right? But the seven of pentacles is about sowing the seeds and letting them grow, right? Because, you know... When you're planting seeds in the garden, you know, you just plant, you know, you just plant the seed and let it grow, right? You don't keep coming back like every five minutes and looking at it and be like, why did it not grow? <laughs> like, because it takes time, right? You know, and then all of a sudden you go back and look at the seed and it's, you know, it's sprouted and it's looking really good. But that's what the seven of pentacles talks about is like planting the seeds and then, you know, at the right time it will harvest, but sometimes it takes time but you've been cultivating abundance and it's something to do with speaking. You know, <clears throat> you may have been drawn to pile two because <laughs> um, it, you know, it's like throat chakra stuff. So, you know, communication, it, you know, that can be like a YouTube channel, like writing, counseling, uh, a podcast, uh, making a movie. You know, anything to do with speaking or like dealing with text, you know, in that way. And text is like a lot of different things. So the reason that you've maybe, it's like you've been putting work into this and you're like, okay, where's the results? Go faster, go faster. Where's the results? 
but you've also at the same time one of the seeds that you have been sowing is removing a block in your throat chakra or getting better at communication finding your voice having more confidence in your voice okay that's what's about to come through for you so i don't know if you've already been working on your throat chakra certainly wouldn't hurt to keep working on it you know frequencies crystals anything blue okay for the throat chakra but you, you know what, it's some, you're going to be very happy and you're going to be feeling very content within yourself because look, she's smiling or he's smiling, I don't know what that is, like the thing, <laughs> the being is like smiling, okay? So you're going to be feeling like comfortable speaking, whatever this kind of communication is, okay? So there's a message here to not... Uh, not not get frustrated that it's not happening fast enough particularly if you've been like overworking yourself um, in order to get this done you know they're saying the seeds are being planted the abundance is coming in the meantime you need to look after your health you need to rest you need to make sure you're eating properly drinking water exercising right because you need to keep moving the body it's not just for vanity you know, I always used to think that like, oh, exercise is just for like, you know, to look good, <laughs> but it's not like if you don't move your body, you get like lots of stuck energy, you know? Okay. You have hearing messages from spirit. Ooh, revealing radiance. My light illuminates the world. She is so lit up. Look at that. Do you see that? She's like glowing. So you might actually be, I don't know, moving into a position of like being in the spotlight or something like that, pile number three, to do with speaking. And I feel you're going to be like pretty happy about it actually. She looks quite happy. And see, she's got the birds around her. So some of you could be singers because she's singing. But I feel like whatever this is you have to say or you're singing, you, you're going to have a lot of people that want to hear it. All right, because there's something about like your light people are drawn to, like people are being drawn to like your vibration or your light or something like that. And you know what? It's probably because you've done a lot of work on yourself. Like if you've had problems with your throat chakra, it usually means you've had to do a lot of work on yourself to get the blockage cleared. And you also have soaring into joy. Childlike wonder fills my life. So yeah, whatever this is you're gonna end up doing, it's gonna make you very happy. And it's almost, do you see the way those cards are? It's like whatever you have to say lights up other people. You see that? It's like, you know, whatever you're saying or singing, it's, it's almost like light, like filling her balloons kind of thing. Like whatever you have to say is gonna make other people happy or it lights them up or it raises their vibration maybe. Because she's obviously, you know, flying, which is like a reference to high vibration. And I also feel, see how her little hat's falling off? It's like, um, whatever this is you have to say or sing or express is gonna like blow people away. There's just, um, it's just not, I think it's just not moving as fast as you'd like, but there's been reasons for that. And one of the reasons was to remove this um, throat chakra. You may also have had a block in your sacral chakra because they've just drawn my attention to the orange and joy, which is, is both sacral chakra stuff. So if you want to know more about the chakras, you should check out my other channel, uh, how to train your cat pillar and never shut up about the chakras over there. So I feel like with this hearing messages from spirit, okay, so for some of you, you're actually like a channel, okay? Like, yeah, you definitely could have been drawn to pile two. Like whatever this is, like for some of you, you're channeling spirit. So some of you could be, you know, like mediums or a tarot reader or, you know, I was speaking to someone recently who creates art and she, she told me that, um, it's very much channeled from spirit, so it could be something like that. 
you know, or you're a writer, but you feel like it's channeled from spirit, something like this. Because spirit channels, you know, in a lot of different ways, right? So for some of you, it's like a business or you're going to get like famous or something to do with like communication, being in the spotlight and like channeling spirit for some of you, okay? But also, I feel like you're going to get a message or something. Because you see, that's an, that's an envelope. <laughs> you know, it's funny that that card did not want to focus. Some of your cards have not wanted to focus and I haven't had that problem with any other deck. I feel like there's something, uh, any other pile, sorry. I feel like there's something coming for you, pile three. There's like a message that you're going to get and it's blessed. You see how the white feather? Spirit is sending you something and it's not in focus. You don't know what this is yet, I think. It's, they want it to be a surprise. There's, but there's something coming. Oh, they're like laugh. They're like smiling, <laughs> laughing. Like, they're excited for you. They're excited. They said you're gonna be excited. Like, but they don't. That's. It's not clear. You don't know what this is, and they're deliberately not telling you because they want it to be a surprise. But it's gonna make you very happy. So I don't. I don't know. It could be something to do with your abundance, though. I feel like because it. You know, this card, they're very chatty today. <laughs> um, you have the abundance of the universe is pouring into my life. And then you have like this letter, this blessing from spirit coming in. So I don't know. It's some, it's something to do with your prosperity. Like you're going to receive a message from someone about your pro that's going to affect your prosperity. Okay. So I'm going to leave that there. Um, pile number three that is your message thank you so much for watching hope it resonated and as always i wish you many blessings love and light take care